everything else that we do in this convention is ultimately about that right there. I've been back there for about 20 minutes trying to think about how to transition from that moment to this one. <laughs> And I don't really have a good idea, so I think I just did it, okay? Uh, we actually have good news. We have the, uh, the, uh, we have the uh, results of the election of the recording secretary, and so I'm going to recognize Don Currents, our registration secretary, to give those results. I know. I agree. Those are the real heroes. Man, praise God what they do. Okay. But as for business, at the time of our last ballot, there was 8,098 messengers registered with 4,018 messenger casting ballots for the Office of Recording Secretary. John Yates received 2,005, excuse me, 2,527 votes, representing 62.89%. Eddie Eaton received 1,465 votes, representing 36.46% of the votes. There were 26 disallowed ballots, or 0.65% of the votes. Thank you. Okay, again, so out of 8,098 messengers registered, 4,018 messengers casting ballots for the Office of Recording Secretary, John Yates was 62.89%, 2,527 votes, is elected as the Recording Secretary, and so um, that's that. Uh, nominations are now in order for the Registration Secretary, and so the Chair recognizes Jimmy Scroggins. My name is Jimmy Scroggins, and I'm a pastor and messenger from Family Church in West Palm Beach, Florida. And it is my privilege to nominate Kathy Litton for Registration Secretary of the Southern Baptist Convention. Kathy Litton has given a lifetime of service to Southern Baptists at all levels of our convention. For more than 35 years, she has served churches as a pastor's wife in Missouri, Texas, Colorado, and Alabama. And in her present role at the North American Mission Board, Kathy gives leadership to providing care, coaching, and training for planter spouses across North America. Her husband, Ed, serves as the senior pastor of Redemption Church in Alabama. As a pastor's wife and in her role with NAM, Kathy has established strong credibility with both men and women across the SBC, and she can speak with wisdom, strength, and compassion to the issues that are facing us today. Now the truth is, most of us have given very little thought to who serves as registration secretary. In the past, it has been an important behind the scenes function, but now it has potential to become a very prominent role. If bylaw eight is adopted this afternoon by this convention, the registration secretary will operate in an ex officio capacity on the new standing committee on credentials. This person will have a seat at the table in the conversation surrounding sexual abuse in our churches, including which churches, if any, would be deemed non-cooperating churches due to their failure to adequately address this issue. In the history of the SBC, no woman has ever occupied this post. For the past several terms, it has been occupied by a brother who is a good, godly, faithful and qualified brother, but because the issues facing us right now are so sensitive and because this moment is so powerful, I believe it would be good to have a woman's voice to speak from this seat. A woman's voice, in particular this woman's voice, Kathy Litton's voice, will bring much needed perspective and a measure of credibility as we recommit to a process of accountability for churches and care for victims. Every other year, the vote for a registration sec secretary seems perfunctory. It seems almost like a non-event. It seems like a vote of little consequence, but this year, it really matters. So I'd invite you to join me 
in making a little Southern Baptist history and vote for Kathy Linton as Registration Secretary of the SBC. Thank you, Jimmy. The chair recognizes Philip Burden for a second nomination for the Office of Registration Secretary. My name is Philip Burden, and I am the lead pastor of First Baptist Church, Ozark, Missouri. But I had the privilege of serving this great state of Alabama. And even in uh, something as awesome as sending people for Christ to the nations, did you hear the one person get the phrase in, roll tide? It happens every single time. But I am here to nominate Don Currents as Registration Secretary of the Southern Baptist Convention. Some 10 days ago, we learned that a dear Christian servant, Ms. Kathy Litton from the state of Alabama, had allowed her name to be given for nomination. And honestly, this calls some soul searching for all of us. I want to be clear that I rejoice in the steps taken by our convention in adopting the new emphasis on the Credentials Committee's oversight and messenger seating and I rejoice in our convention's adherence to our Lord Jesus and his teaching in the Gospels that accords women the dignity and honor that they deserve. We wholeheartedly adhere to the absolute equality and dignity of personhood between male and female made in the image of God. We desire in every situation for our perspective to be, God, you remain your size and help all of us remain our size. I believe that when electing someone for this responsibility, it should be based on the knowledge and experience in the task at hand. As you know, Don has served two years as our registration secretary, and there is no question that Don knows the registration process better than anyone. Prior to serving as our registration secretary, he served alongside Brother Jim Wells for 12 years as his assistant, and he helped him in the Credentials and Tellers Committee for over a decade. Most messengers do not understand what the registration secretary does. There are over 100 individuals that are trained, including registration, credentials, tellers, computer techs, and volunteers that Don trains and coordinates each year. He exhausts several hours a week leading up to the convention on updating his convention notebook with training agendas, working on instruction handouts, and tell our counting slips that he developed over the years. Nobody in the SBC knows the registration process better than Don Currents. Don knows the process and he knows what to do when the process does not go as planned. Our God has sovereignly dispensed his gifts to his church and Don is gifted in administration and servants. He is a stickler for doing things right according to prescribed norms, yet he is fair in his treatment with others. As the administrator and children's pastor of our church, Don has always been proactive in providing a safe and secure haven for the children of our church. I want you to know that the very safety measures that our SBC is advocating, we've been doing through Don's leadership at our church for years. Therefore, as a member of the Credentials Committee, he would bring to the table valuable working knowledge and measures of safety. Don doesn't serve alone. Don's wife, Chetta, and his two adopted daughters from China, Hannah and Leah, have helped Don through the years at this convention. So, brothers and sisters, I nominate Don Currents as Registration Secretary. A second nomination has been made. Is, are there any further nominations? There are none. Recognize John Yates. See none. I'm going to recognize John Yates, the recording secretary, who is going to come up and give us instructions about how to cast our ballots. Thank you, Mr. President. Trust you have your ballots. You'll take them out at this time. And if you'll look in your ballot, make sure you have, um, uh, should be nine ballots that remain. We'd like for you this afternoon to take ballot number three. Ballot number three, only ballot number three. That's right. If you'll take that and tear it out of your packet, We'd like to ask you this afternoon to follow instructions very carefully. We want every ballot to be counted and to be a recognized ballot, so it's very important that we follow instructions. Ballot number three, and if you're holding that in your hand, if you would like to vote for Kathy Litton, 
If you will put an X in square number one, in square number one. If you would like to vote for Don Currents, you would put an X in square number three, square number three. So if you will make your indication, Kathy Litton, square number one, Don Current, square number three. And then take your ballot, fold it once, pass it to the right. Pass it to the right, and our ushers will begin to collect those ballots. If you're on the end of an aisle to help our ushers out, you can just kind of collect some others together so it makes this quicker. If you have some ballots, just hold them up so that they can be collected. Keep holding them up until they are collected, if you will. We have some right here behind you, Jay. I know our tellers will do a very diligent, excellent job of counting our ballots, and we will report back as soon as possible. If you have not, you still are holding on to a ballot, please wave it, because our ushers are looking. They want to help you. Thank you, messengers, for your good work. Well, thank you, John. A reminder to continue to hold up your ballots if they have not been collected yet to make sure that we get all of those. Folks, I know it has been a very um, busy and long afternoon. Um, we have a couple of important items still ahead of us. As a reminder, we do not have evening sessions, and so I hope that you will um, endure just a little bit longer as we finish up our time together um, here this afternoon. At this point, the chair recognizes Adam Greenway, um, who is the newly elected president of Southwestern Seminary.